In verse 22, there's a very interesting statement made. It says, "'Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow, or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail?' Now, there are some very fantastic interpretations that are drawn from this of how the snow and the hail will be used in warfare. And I know it was what defeated Napoleon, but I'm not about to get out on a limb again today. You'll recall that some time ago that there was a little pamphlet put out about a computer that was used in the space program and located a day that was lost. And I referred to it on the radio program. And believe me, friends, I certainly heard from that one because actually that's been traced down. as It's not accurate at all, of course. And that's the danger of attempting to draw out of these wonderful passages of Scripture some fantastic interpretation. The Bible is recording miracles. And the whole point God is making here to Job is, this is what I've done, Job, but you can't understand it. And men today cannot enter into these things. Only God knows these things. Now he says in verse 23, "...which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war." So that snow and hail, and I know that I'll hear from some folk that will inform me about it, how it's going to be used, and that'll be all right. I'll be glad to hear from you. But that's already been put through my mill a long time ago, and I've passed it by because I think there's something here we don't know, friends. That's the point that God is making with Job. And he goes on to talk to him about the starry heavens. And in verse 31, "'Canst thou bind the sweet influence of the Pleiades, or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou bring forth Maseroth in his season, or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Out yonder in the heavens, these tremendous stars. Now, I do not know how much the ancients knew of them. Apparently, they knew a great deal more than we've given them credit for. It's my understanding that the Egyptians knew the distance to the sun. And they actually were a little bit more accurate than we are today in our measurements. And therefore, they must have had a great knowledge. And now, God goes on in this vein that he's the creator. And have you really known God through his creation? And I think he's making it clear to Job that the creation reveals his greatness, but you can't know God. You can know something about him, but you'll not come to know him in this way.